Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with the 2019 Riser Tachyon Speed. Now this hasn't been upgraded in terms of its engine power or its electric power whatsoever so it still has 1,251 horsepower, 3,650 pounds feet of torque from 6 direct drive motors producing 1.4 megawatts but it does now weigh only 2,901 pounds which is 299 pounds less than it did originally and it now has off-road tyres and off-road suspension to go along with its all-wheel drive system and it can now do 0 16 2.784 seconds, 0 to 104.69 8 seconds and going to a top speed of 240 miles an hour so in terms of acceleration as well it is also quicker than it was in stock form so uh, yeah this is the, actually the first all electric vehicle that we've had on this series so it's going to be interesting to see what it can do uh, but yeah since it had all wheel drive originally that is not going to be an issue but obviously it was not meant for dealing with these kind of conditions but the instantaneous power and torque that you get from an electric car will hopefully prove beneficial because we're going to fly out of these corners, hopefully. But obviously that does depend on whether or not it's going to be able to put that power down. Because it is a hell of a lot of torque, and obviously we are, you know, dealing with off-road conditions, which aren't typically the uh, best places to be uh, trying to get as much traction as possible. But weighing as little as it does, and handling-wise being as good as it is, it should hopefully uh, be able to manage bit of a big drift there into the wall. Yeah, I will eventually get around to trying the Rimac on here as well. I initially didn't want to because uh, I think, uh, again, like with this, you can't actually upgrade it in terms of horsepower and torque, but quite frankly, it's still interesting to see what these cars can do when you uh, slightly change the environment they're in and uh, slightly change their underpinnings because yeah, it certainly wasn't meant for off-road tyres or off-road suspension so it wasn't meant to be as light as it is now so it has changed dynamically somewhat whether or not that's going to equal a uh, quick time we'll have to see a little bit all over the place there Far more agile than a vehicle of this size should ever be, quite frankly. And we're going to be steaming across the finish line at 185 miles an hour, which is, yeah, certainly one of the faster cars across the finish line, at a time of 1 minute 59.646 seconds, meaning this is under the, ten, uh, the 2 minute mark and therefore into the top 10. Uh, quite comfortably as well by the in fact it's now in eighth position uh, ahead of the ATS GT, the Bugatti Devo, the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 as well as the Honda Civic RS, Alfa Romeo 155Q4, Hoonigan Ford Bronco, Toyota Land Cruiser Arctic Trucks and the Hot Wheels 2 Jets. Uh, it's ever so slightly behind the uh, McLaren F1 GT, the Cointeg CC GT and the TBR Cerberus V12 but still quite a way off the uh, Porsche 911 GT1 Stratton's version which is still more than 3 seconds ahead of this but quite frankly for an all electric car that hasn't had its uh, you know, horsepower or torque rate ratings upgraded and uh, for it having uh, you know, being in uh, conditions that it's not really meant for and uh, yeah, certainly uh, not being the uh, smallest of cars it was yeah, far more agile and far more capable than I was ever expecting to be honest Clearly, obviously, uh, the all the all-wheel drive system coupled with the electric drivetrain means that it can fly out the corners really rather quickly, and also it can maintain its speed quite well as well because of the electric motors, which, as I said, can provide instantaneous power and torque, which means you don't really have to uh, travel very far or even press the accelerator all that much for it to be, get up to a good rate of speed. And uh, it seemed to me for a lot of the uh, course to be above 100 miles an hour which is obviously really rather useful so uh, yeah really really pleased with it and uh, yeah it does give me high hopes for the likes of the uh, the Rimac which has even more power than this although it does weigh more though obviously that's before upgrades nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye